Uh, folks, we have a student from Santa Fe High School joining us on the line right now, a uh, student by the name of Christopher uh, Cross. Uh, Mr. Cross, can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. Are you there? Uh, thank you for uh, taking the time to chat with us. Uh, uh, terribly sorry for everything that's going on over there right now and what you all are having to deal with. Uh, what's what's the latest? What can you tell us? Um, well, all I can tell you is that we all thought it was just a normal fire alarm, so we were kind of just walking that fire drill. I mean, and we were all just kind of walking out, and then we heard some, like, gunfire. And yeah. uh, when I turned, I saw this, like, a fellow student of mine on the floor, and I was going to try and help him, and then the officers wouldn't let us. And we saw like a bunch of officers with assault rifles, uh, kind of behind the wall, getting ready to go into the school. So we all took off running. And uh, when we got to the gas station, they were taking our names and um, telling us like we we were asking information. And then friends of ours were saying that they were in the classroom, the classroom where it was happening, and they were hiding. And then when they came out, there was blood all over the the floors and the walls. And they were like really skittish and freaking out, and they had to jump over the wall and run to the gas station to where we were at. And uh, that's basically like how it went today. Christopher, I, I my heart breaks to hear you describe that. Uh, I'm sorry again. Uh, I, I can't say it enough. I'm sorry you had to see that. Uh, you had to experience that. Um, let me ask you something. Uh, did I hear correctly, Christopher, earlier today that you guys had a drill? on this particular kind of scenario just just a little bit ago a couple of weeks ago recently i mean were you all uh, yes sir you, you did so did you know what to do or whenever you realized that this wasn't a drill uh, i mean I, I i can't imagine that at that point you were able to keep your calm right well when we realized that it wasn't a drill we like i, I was frozen for a sec and then i realized like survival instinct kicked in and I grabbed whoever was near me and we took off. Yeah. We were just, we took off running to go to the nearest place to take cover. You doing okay, Christopher? Yes, sir. Yeah, your friends and uh, other folks, how, how are people holding up out there? Uh, well, uh, there's a lot of people over here that are taking it pretty hard. Yeah. They can't find their kids and so what? But where, where, I can only imagine, Christopher. Where, where are you now, buddy? Uh, I am actually just left the place where they were like talking to all the parents and uh, telling them at the FBI gym. Yeah, the, 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 there was a, a location that was uh, sort of uh, designated as like like the, the meet meeting up, place. The meet, the meeting place, right? That's where everybody yeah, was going yes, to. Sir. Christopher, yes, uh, did you know this this 17 year old student Demetrius that uh, authorities are saying or? sources are saying is the suspected shooter. What, if anything, do you know of this student? Well, I know that he, he was um, a very smart student and was the last person anybody, anybody expected to do this because he, he was social. Like, I mean, of course, everybody has trouble going up to people and talking. So that's what I noticed about him. But other than that, he was actually a pretty nice kid. And he I've seen him in the hallways a couple times and talked to him, but yeah, I, I was going to. I was going to ask you, Christopher. Would, would you describe? The, we have information that he was that he was on the JV football team, that he danced at a local uh, local dance group at the uh, one of the local churches there. Uh, to your knowledge, I mean, would you describe him as being like a, a popular student, a well liked person, or, or or would you say he was uh, kind of an outsider? He was. He wasn't an outsider, but he wasn't like a real popular student. Okay. But you did say the last person anyone would have thought would do this. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, uh, Christopher, uh, we are, just so you know, bud, we're gonna keep chatting with you here for a little bit, but we are waiting on uh, the Texas governor, uh, Greg Abbott. He's expected to give a news conference at any moment. So if we have to hang up with you, uh, that's, that's the reason why. Um, what, what happens now, uh, Christopher? What are you all being asked to do or, or not do? Do you know anything about this situation involving explosives down there? Do you know anything about that? I've, I heard I heard the officers talking about it, and uh, really, they they know only what we know that there was pipe bombs 
in the school that they found and in a nearby house there was explosives and um that if we we all realized that if the fire alarm wouldn't have been pulled and we bunkered down for like a lockdown situation yeah and it could have been twice as worse and twice as many people. Christopher, we haven't been, been able to run. confirm this, but our understanding is somebody, possibly a substitute teacher, pulled that fire alarm to help uh, faculty and students know to get out or to encourage them to get out. Is that what you're hearing? Uh, I'm hearing both sides where I heard that one of the students that was uh, involved pulled the fire alarm and out to do the same thing like in Florida. And I also heard about it was a substitute teacher who did it. My other question for you, Christopher, uh, what grade are you in? 11th grade. 11th grade. Mm -hmm. So we know that um, school was supposed to be, to my knowledge, uh, out on the 31st. So just a few days to go. What was it like today when you walked into class before any of this happened? What was on the minds of students? I'm assuming graduation, the summer, a, a very different picture than than the events that we saw unfold. I'm sure you all were preoccupied with more joyous things. Uh, it was really, we were kind of expecting it to just be like a breeze by for the rest of the year. And um, nobody was expecting this, of course. And like, we were just working on our projects and in class, my first period when the alarm went off. So mm -hmm. pretty crazy. Uh, do you know by chance um, how uh, how this shooter, this teenager, how he was taken into custody? Do you know? Um, uh, did you see any of that, or do, do you know how how that all may have gone down? Uh, no, sir. I did not see any of that. Okay. And Christopher, an important question for you: Have you been reunited with your family? We hope you have. We're so glad you're safe. And and if you have, what um, what did your family say to you? when you were finally able to reunite with them? Uh, well, my mom kept saying I love you and uh, hugging me and kissing me. And she was so glad that I was still here. And um, we were just praying for all these other families that don't have such a like option. We're praying with her, Christopher. I'm so glad you were able to hug your mom today. I'm so glad you're going to be able to go home safely. And we are so appreciative of your time. Is there anything else you think the rest of the country, we're, we're um, chatting with our viewers here on Facebook Live, any message that you have for them following this awful tragedy? Um, I would just ask them to keep us in their prayers and um, ask them to pray for the officers who had to go into the school and see all this and for the officer who supposedly got hurt in the process. Yeah. Uh, Chris, you're, you're, you're a brave young man. Thank you very much for chatting with us uh, and for offering your perspective on what you saw and what you're going through. I'm sure it's not easy, um, but I think uh, the sentiment that Gilma just shared is one that we all share with you. Uh, here at CBS 11 and, and, and our viewers and, and folks that are watching and, and everyone. And that is that, um, you know, our thoughts and our prayers certainly are with you. Uh, and, and we wish you all the best. Um, and, and, you know, it's a good thing, as Gilma said, that you're back with your folks right now. Um, because right now yes, that's, that's, that's what you need. You just need to stay safe and uh, surrounded with the people that, uh, that love you the most. So, Christopher, thanks for, uh, for chatting with us on the phone. Um, and, uh, and best of luck to you, buddy. Thank you for having me. Thank okay. you. Thank you.